Telefan TV. Today we're going to make the, uh, the famous veal meatballs with the uh, burrata ravioli or mescaluna and the mushroom broth. So first we're going to get started on the mushroom broth. Now you're going to need about like two pounds of mushrooms. We, we get a lot of mushrooms, we use a lot of mushrooms at Telefan, so we accumulate a lot of trimming. So I'm going to use that for, for this recipe. But at home, you can just get regular button mushrooms or cremini mushrooms which have a little more flavor than button mushrooms. They're also good. It's a little more expensive. So, you just chop away. I got about two and a half pounds of mushrooms. Add a little vegetable oil to it. Put these in here. To that, I'm going to add, I'm going to slice about four shallots. Or garlic. I'm gonna add this to the pot also. And to this, I just like to add a pinch of salt to it. So we're gonna let this cook slowly for a little while. It takes about like 20 minutes, about a half hour, until the air cooks down, release some of its liquid really well. Parmesan rind for this recipe. This adds a nice flavor for any fish. You're gonna make like a pasta out of it, or even for a soup. You know, we want to add a little cheese to the end. You know. So while that's cooking, we're gonna do the meatball. This is a, a mix of pork and uh, grass-fed beef that we're using here. So we take a couple pounds, and to that we're gonna add take some breadcrumbs and a little heavy cream, and let that soak for a minute. We're gonna take a little garlic. We're just gonna uh, take our trusty microplane here. If you don't have one of these, you can just mash it with a fork. Well, I mean, with a knife and a little uh, little salt. It works great. Got that? We're gonna take some eggs, crack it into the bowl. Don't try this at home with the back of a spoon. It's only for professionals. And then to that, we're gonna add. Then you just put everything together. A little Parmesan cheese, some chopped parsley. We'll add the breadcrumb mix. And a really good amount of salt. Alright? And then, if you don't have a KitchenAid at home, you can just sort of mix it by hand. But we're going to put it into the KitchenAid to mix up. The reason I like to put it in the KitchenAid is just because it really beats it really nicely. So, here we go! See, so everything. Parsley is distributed beautifully. That's how you can tell, the parsley is the key. Again, one of these things that I like to do, I mean, generally, since I use good pork and good meat, I'm not afraid to eat it raw, so. Just to check the seasoning. Just a little dab will do you. Right on. So I take a little oil. And we'll spread it onto the pan. And we're gonna make little meatballs, so. So what we're going to do here is just pop these right into the oven and get them browning, so... You want to see if they're like sort of uh, cooked through by just pressing on them. If they're a little firm to the touch, they're ready to go. So we took them out after about four minutes or so. According to my calculations. And um, when they do come out, you just want to take a little of the mushroom stock and just put some in there. I have some uh, burrata mescalina that we make. So it's a little half moon shaped pasta that we serve with this. And add a little mushrooms to that. Yeah.